It's been eight months in the making and now the Kyosho Laser Alpha is fully restored and ready to run. Let's see how it goes guys. G'day guys, welcome back to RC Chronicles. Today, after an 8 month restoration, I'm finally ready to give my Kyosho Laser Alpha its first restored test run. Gonna do it in my front yard and replicate the very first run of the 17 years that I did with it right way back at the beginning of the channel 8 months ago. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the top corner now. Boom, go check it out. It's one of my, ver it's actually my third video ever and the first one that I did outside running. So yeah, it was quite interesting and a bit of fun to look back on. But okay then, let's go take, go down to the um, yard and see how the restoration process worked. Let's hope it works okay. Let's go down to the yard, guys. Guys, don't forget, subscribe and smash the bell. Alright, guys. The time has finally come to give my restored Kyosho Laser Alpha another run and a test run to see how it's going there's a few changes like i mentioned in the previous video it's got a brand new servo in it it's got a new receiver in it and it's got an the esc in it that i put in it when i first ran it on the very beginning of the channel about eight months ago now um it's still the the, the shocks have been upgraded, but they are still leaking again, unfortunately. So this is not going to be one that I can use all that often. It's going to gonna give it a run, see how it goes. And then basically um, it'll become a shelf queen. But we're going to give it a good run today and see how it goes. Give it drive it on the around the yard here and then maybe a little bit out on the road and just see how it goes and um then we're going to take it out to the netball courts place and give it a speed run and then it can go on the shelves cool so let's give it a run guys steering, okay. steering's good where are we going all right here we go guys first run again Woohoo! We're off. God, the grass is long. Yeah, not working. No. Working it out. Oops. I thought there plenty of room. Obviously there wasn't. Whee! That was some good air. Yeah. God, I'm staggered at how much it is um, struggling in that grass. Well, it's not struggling. The wheels are just spinning. Put a taco on it, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's time for a quick spin on the road. Steering is really, really 
quite slack. Like, look at this turning circle on it. And it's so noisy compared to a lot of other cars, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry? She seems to run all right on the road. A little bit noisy and a bit clunky with bad steering, but it is a very old car and, well, it hasn't steered well for years. But we had a sudden little bit of traffic. It was that time of the day, so we decided to jump on back off-road onto the grass again and have one last little blast about. Let's go back down to the grass. guys the very moment we went back off road again it just got even more noisy and I noticed an issue starting to occur so I pretty much stopped running it there and then all right so it just looks like the that pin has come loose and the drive should, and oh yeah the gearbox is a little bit pulled apart so yeah, car's done. Done? Yep. Alrighty, well. This is what we do with done cars. Yep. You're done. Nah, any kidding. <laughs> You'll show for you. <laughs> there we go. Nah, definitely not rubbish. A quick repair was all that was needed, so she's ready to do that one last speed run. Well guys, that was a lot of fun, great memories. I'll do a speed run with the car in the next video for it and um, after that I'll leave it be. I'll put it on the shelf and have it for purely for memories. I'm not going to run it anymore after the speed run. The shocks leak oil, the steering is terrible and that the front gearbox fix that I did in a previous video if you haven't seen that I'll leave a link in the top corner now boom it kind of failed and didn't really work that well it was gonna as I said in that video it was gonna be hit and miss as to whether it held it didn't hold so if it was gonna be um, run on a more regular basis I would need to buy it a whole new front diff and buying stuff for these cars now is no mean feat it's really difficult to source any sort of parts and if you can source them they are wickedly expensive so I'm not going to bother I'd rather put put it on the shelf and put my money to my other newer cars so I hope you enjoyed that video guys it's been a long journey this restoration process and was it worth it yeah definitely it was a lot of fun revisiting that car and making it so it looks good to sit on the shelf ultimately and it was a lot of fun just seeing it running again memories just flooded back throughout the whole video that's why I wasn't really talking a lot I guess because I was just yeah, it was a little bit overwhelming at times, but it was great. I loved it. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. We are now over 900 subscribers, getting towards that 1,000, guys. That's awesome. But if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. 
please consider subscribing and smashing on that bell. That'd be great. And come on over to my Facebook group, RC Chronicles group. There'll be a link in the description below for that. Come on over and share your videos and share your cars and all that sort of stuff. It's great. I'll um, catch you guys in the next one. I'm Matt, RC Chronicles. Catch you later. Thank you.